Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is Down and Dirty with the Goon, brought to you by Muscle Gels. Topical enhancement gels. Check them out at musclegels.com. As I said, everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. And I wanted to talk a little bit last, about last night's, uh, actually today's International Dateline. Uh, Arnold Classic Australia, brought to you by Tony Dory. From uh, what I've seen, as far as the little bit of streaming and pictures, looked like a really good show, good lineup. Congrats to Roly for coming in and actually winning one. You hit big man. Um, it was pretty close. Bonac, Daxter, and as far as figure goes, Candace won. That's no surprise. I mean, the girl looks like the figure trophy. She should win. And just a big shout out to my new fave, Kate Arrington. Just a little bit of a crush there, but hey, what are you going to do? And like I said, today's St. Patrick's Day. This is Boston. Rah, 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 rah. And I was going to say, certain stereotypes are true. I enjoy whiskey, and I can be just a tad hot tempered. But for the, you know, it doesn't mean go out there, puke on your shoes, and act like a complete fucking asshole. And the other thing is, if you're not Irish, you go out there and you throw up on yourself, and then you say you're Irish for the day, that's kind of fucking insulting. Would you like me to go out and like do a stereotype of your freaking ethnicity? Something like a bad stereotype? Be like, well, today I'm this and do something, you know what I mean? Like, today, I'm oh, sorry people, today I do something really stupid, I'm like, oh, well, I'm Polish today, or, you know, whatever. But, talking about stereotypes, this is about training for lanky ethnos. Actos, excuse me. Um, it is true, there are ethnic body types. And a lot of Irish people do happen to be wanky, uh, you know, actor almost. And that's something I know a little bit about. Uh, we have an easy time being an actor dieting down. We can get lean as shit. That's really not the issue. The issue is putting on muscle and actually saving some muscle when we're trying to diet. Um, and being lanky, the first thing that tends to go are your legs and your arms. So, off season, the thing about being an actor is eat. Eat a ton of food. I know that sounds really easy, but you gotta eat probably twice as much as a mesomorph. There's a reason a mesomorph, it's just their genetic makeup, their metabolism. There are guys who can do 50 push ups and three sets of curls would be huge. Look at Sergio, probably the greatest specimen of all time. And I actually think probably the best body genetics all the time. Sorry, Arnold, but this guy actually had you beat. Sergio used to work all day, first in a metal factory and then as a cop. His meal for the day a lot of times was, this is going back, a quart of Coca-Cola and a frozen pizza. Do you guys, Ever seen pictures of Sergio? You know, the myth. If I did that, I'd weigh 150 pounds. So that's, that's a mesomorph. Being an ectomorph, you gotta start the day with food. A lot of times, but you also don't wanna blow out your gut. Also in the sense that you also wanna keep eating. Like just, you know, here's a quick breakdown what I would do for a given day. Start off the day with oats usually about a half a cup dry weight. So it'll give me like 60, 60 grams of carbs. And then I'm throwing some berries in it. If I don't have berries, I'm throwing some jelly in it. This is off season, mind you. Then I'm gonna drink uh, a bunch of egg whites, probably two cups, about 50 grams. Before I, before I train, I'm having another shake, probably 50 grams away some juice, uh, some type of, another about 50 grams of carbs, maybe a banana. Then usually intro workout, I'm drinking some type of aminos, usually EAAs, I'm kind of like stuck on that now as opposed to BCAAs, and like a quarter Gatorade. Then post-workout, it's another 50 to 75 grams of carbs, and 50 to 75 grams of whey. Then I'm going home, and like probably about an hour after my shake, I'm dropping down about 10, 12 ounces of cooked weighted chicken, two cups of rice or a whole sweet potato. A couple hours later, I'm having that meal again. Then I'm having a shake, a shake and like a, I'm, I'd love to say a tablespoon of peanut butter, but I'm talking a big ass scoop full of peanut butter. 
Then I'm going to have a piece of, a piece of red meat. Probably a real potato. Once again, I'm a mech. I like potatoes. And then before I go to bed, I'm having, I'm having a shake. Probably a Greek yogurt with that. And another big ass scoop of uh, peanut butter. And then most of the time, because I'm getting old and I have to wake up and piss during the middle of the night, I'm having, <laughs> I have a shake in the fridge that I'm, that I'm drinking before I, you know, wake up. I mean, the only issue with that is if you're going to be on GH, just make sure you get the timing so that, you, that your GH will be like an hour before and an hour after you don't eat so you don't have the insulin spike. But that's something that's completely different. And it's being active like cheat meals a couple times a week. Don't fucking cry about them. Eat them. A couple giant burgers, but make them like functional feeds. Like I'd love to say, like I love sushi. I'd love to say you could go bash sushi a couple times a week, but the truth is, I can drop 75 bucks worth of sushi with the hot beat and still be hungry. And that's a bragging, that's just what it is. You don't want to go to a super cheap sushi buffet because you're probably going to get sick. So, but something like sushi, um, even a burger, baked, but you know, but I'm talking a burger, I'm talking like a burger. You know, if you're going to five guys, get two, big bag of fries. Once a week, that's not going to kill you. And someone once said the greatest Italian supplement of all time, pizza. Just throw some meat on that shit. So you're getting some real protein other than just the milk protein. Drop one of those a week. And as far as training, there used to be a cool magazine out back in the day called Tired Gainers. Um, I thought that was a little bit extreme, like three days a week workouts. I found that at least one exercise, the Dorian style training, working up to like one really heavy set works best, as opposed to trying to blast out a shit ton of like super ultra heavy sets, but that's also saving my joints at this point. And then after that, I just go for volume and a pump, because that's basically what my body's gonna respond to, and also with age. So, up the Republic, happy St. Patrick's Day, and all actors don't give up because you can at least get a decent physique. You may get beat on stage, but in the real world, if you're a lanky actor and you put some muscle on, you're gonna look some, you're gonna look pretty good. Peace out. This recently has been my go-to superset for traps. Um, it's gonna be hammer shrugs. Higher reps with the hold on top to be more effective. We'll try to half grab a whole bunch of Now the second part of this super set is something that I got from Lee and possibly the greatest physique of all time. I do. People wrongly confuse this with a behind the back shrug. It's not, it's a row. If you consider where your traps are, they're located on your back. A far more effective way of getting them from the front row. Definitely pay off on your back lat spread and your back double by. Give it a shot.